Once upon a time, there's a street called Smith Street. It was in Newtown, and it was a really great place. Since we arrived in Australia a few years ago, Baba, my father, had worked hard and saved enough money for a deposit on the Smith Street Deli. Lots of people lived in Smith Street. There's no one home. Mr Mack had been there longer than anybody. The professor was always around and doing something, but it was better if you didn't ask what. Last off. You had to watch out for the Wilsons. They thought Smith Street was their street. Although we went to the same school, they weren't my friends. Mr Wilson was always at work, and Mrs Wilson was really nice. Rowley! Patricia! Mr Willoughby was the only person in the street who didn't know what fun was. Hey, what are you doing? Just looking. Well, this is not a library, you know. Oh. Made things hard for everybody. No, I can't take that one. Brian and Chris moved in the same day as us. They'd come down from Queensland looking for work. Their kid, Sean, and my little brother, Costa, started to be friends. Come on, you can, you can do it! And then there was a shiny guy you had to watch out for. He was always somewhere near Smith Street. We called him the Munger. moved into Smith Street, I thought everything was going to be great because my Yaya was coming up from Greece to live with us. Yaya! She could do magic and everything. But Yaya thought Australia was really scary. Back in Greece, Yaya used to go out early every morning with her goat Poppy. It just wasn't the same when she tried to go for a walk here. Ah! What do you think you're doing? She often just sat in her room. She was so homesick. One day, she was so quiet, I thought she was dead. See what you can find, huh? OK, I'll see you later. I'd never been to the job centre before, but it seemed like a good place to start. There weren't many kids there, but the job wasn't for me anyway. Experienced drama is required. So we just labour. Airline ground attendant. Then I had this great idea. Marika, I told you, no gods. What would you fit it on anyway? Concrete, eh? There's nothing worse than grown-ups when they're right. Maybe it would have to eat concrete. Do you want to come next week? I can't. We'll ask your dad for you. No, it's not that. I'm just too busy. Too busy? It's only football. Do you know that? It's only football. I was too worried about Gia to care about football. <laughs> Mr Willoughby, though, didn't seem to like anything. But you do sell go 
jobs, don't you? Jobs? Why jobs? So I can get the money to buy a goat. How about a fate or something? Marika, I told you, no fates. Too late, Mr Nick. You said you'd do the soft drink. And where do you think you're going to have the stupid thing? In the street? <laughs> After we gave Yaya -Ya her goat, Poppy, I thought things would get back to normal. But she seemed to forget about me, because she had a lot to do looking after Poppy. She began to move around Newtown a lot. It was good for her, I suppose, having an interest. other things to do anyway. The Wilsons and me started to hang round together. You all came from Smith Street, and they were my friends now. <laughs> you both realise, of course, this is extremely serious. You are both going to be put into the detention Even though we had to watch out for the mongrel and the red-headed person, things seemed to be going well for Smith Street. We didn't win the skipping competition, but everyone had a good time. Even Mr Willoughby started to enjoy himself. The yard reckoned it was great here after she got Poppy. She joined in everything like the skipping competition and school excursions and helped us a lot. She told us stories about the war and how the Australian soldiers and Cretan peoples fought the enemy together. She was good at fixing things too, like the manga. But there are times when even grandmothers surprise you. Maya Yaya knew about hot rocks, and most other grown-ups didn't even want to know. Marisa! <laughs> the mongrel was always somewhere around Smith Street, like a bad smell. Oh. Oh. But that red-headed person he worked for was really scary. We had a fight with him about pinball machines. The professor really stuck up for us over that. You can't go in there, Professor. Why don't you just mind your own business? Treat these machines up. See what you've done to me? The boss, you said... Never mind what I said, just pack this stuff up. It's that mob from Smith Street. Don't you worry about the Smith Street mob. I'll take care of them. We've gone too far. Once upon a 
a time, the Yaya came to live in Smith Street, and then we all lived happily ever after.